And my name is Ebony Williams Sanko. Many of you have heard from me over the past uh, 45 days. And um, I am a Department of Defense contractor with Ohio Employer Support of the Garden Reserve. And it is my pleasure to introduce to you Ohio ESGR State Chair, Michael Bamber. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hey, thank you all for coming to Ohio ESGR Statement of Support Ceremony. As Ebony indicated, my name is Michael Bamber, and I'm the state chairman for the Ohio Employer Support of the Guard and Reserve. I would like to recognize Lieutenant Colonel, I'm sorry, Lieutenant Governor John Husted, Major General Deborah Ashenhurst, Major General Steve Stivers, Council Member Mitchell Brown, and representatives from the offices of Governor Mike DeWine and Secretary of State Frank LaRose. I am honored to represent the Ohio Committee of ESGR, Employer Supported Guard and Reserve, also known as ESGR. ESGR is a Department of Defense program that was established in 1972 to promote cooperation and understanding between reserve component service members and their civilian employers. It was also designed to assist in the resolution of conflicts arising from an employee's military commitment. ESGR is supported by a network of over 3,300 volunteers across all 50 states, District of Columbia, and three territories. Currently, Ohio has 101 volunteers who dedicate their time to support all of you. ESGR has served our country for almost 50 years. We foster a culture in which employers support both the civilian employment and the military service of the members of the National Guard and Reserve Forces. Supportive employers are critical to maintaining the strength and readiness of Reserve and Guard units. Their steadfast and unwavering support allows our Reserve component service members to successfully balance their civilian career, their family life, and their military career. Today, we will be marching together to show our support of Guard and Reserve Forces. This march recognizes the importance of supportive partnerships between employers, partners, volunteers, and state leadership in Ohio. As we showcase the Statement of Support program, we all take a stand with ESGR. On behalf of the Ohio Committee, the employer support of the Garden Reserve, we thank you for joining us today. At this time, I would like to introduce Major General Deborah Ashenhurst, Director, Ohio Department of Veteran Services. General Ashenhurst. Good morning. How are y'all doing? It's nice to look out there and see so many familiar faces. Um, I just wish that it was the ones who don't know about this program that were here, but I'm going to hopefully assume that you all are going to go share the word about how important it is to support our reservists and guards member. Um, you know, I, I obviously have a, um, a strong heart for our guardsmen and our, our reserve officers after 37 years of putting uh, in that service myself and recognizing that sometimes government agencies are the worst at supporting our military members. So uh, I am committed to making sure that everybody understands, one, by law, what they have to do, but more importantly, why they should support and enforce and try to encourage folks to join our reserve components. You know, this has been a really crazy year, 15, 16 months, particularly when I think of our reservists and the strange missions that they've taken on. Who would have ever guessed that our guardsmen would be running vaccine sites. They would be in food banks. They would be doing the things that our citizens need that they didn't realize they needed a year and a half ago. But I'm also hearing some rumors that some of those folks gave up jobs or perhaps were told they have to give up their jobs to take on those missions. And we all know that's wrong. That's really wrong. So we have to get the education out there not only to the employers that, hey, you aren't allowed to tell them they have to retire to go on that mission, but also to our guardsmen to make sure that, and our reservists 
make sure that they know when somebody tries to tell them they have to re retire or resign, that they can stand up and say, no, I'm pretty sure I don't. Let me get somebody to talk to you about this. It's really important that they have the opportunities because when you think of the, the goodness they have done just here in the state of Ohio, then multiply that across the 54 states, territories, and entities where the, the Reserve and Guard serves, and you think that the goodness is, that has been given to the citizens of this great nation, that you think the sacrifice of the employers that had to give them up, because most of them don't have more than one or two reservists in their ranks, right? That sacrifice was nothing compared to the goodness that the citizens get when our service members do that. Now we're all used to, oh, they're marching off to war, we're gonna send them to Afghanistan, Iraq, um, maybe not so much when it was Vietnam. And everybody wants to rally behind that and say, yes, go do our nation's work, go keep our freedoms and all that. But those missions, as important as they are, are no more important to our citizens than the local missions. When the disaster strikes, if we were in that hurricane zone, we'd have our National Guard on speed dial to make sure that our citizens are gonna be cared for, kept safe. So it's important that we shed this, share this word and spread the news and the goodness about not just having reservists in our workforce, but supporting them and helping them to be successful in their military life as well as they are in their guard life. And you think as an employer, what are you really giving up compared to what that service member is giving up, what their family is giving up, nothing compared to the goodness that our citizens get out of it. So thanks for being here today to support this incredible effort. I'm happy to march with you to the MVMM after this. Now it's my great pleasure to introduce somebody that I'm struggling how to introduce. I would say my friend, Congressman, General, <laughs> CEO, President. Um, I'm not sure what to call you, Steve, but I'm really glad that you're here and I know you're a strong advocate of this program. So please join me in, in uh, bringing General Steve Stivers to the podium. Thank you, General Ashenhurst. Uh, Ohio's veterans have a, a great voice in you, and thank you for your service. I want to thank all of you for being here today. My name's Steve Stivers. I'm a Major General in the Ar Army National Guard. I'm the Assistant Adjutant General for Army, and uh, I, I'm here like a lot of reservists and guardsmen today in two roles. I'm here as the Assistant Adjutant General, uh, General Harris could not be here. He sends his regrets, but ESGR is a very important entity to our guard soldiers and airmen and our reservists out there because that way they know their rights. ESGR works with the employers to make sure that we take care of, of our reservists. I'm also here as CEO of the Ohio Chamber, and I'm gonna sign a statement of support on behalf of the, st the state chamber uh, the Ohio Chamber of Commerce represents 8,000 businesses across Ohio, large and small. We're the voice of business here at, in the nation's or in the state capital, and we'll make sure that uh, business entities are represented when policy decisions are made. But those employers uh, also have an obligation to our service members. And on behalf of the chamber, I'm going to sign a statement of support today for ESGR. Uh, obviously, our Guard and Reserve soldiers and airmen see our nation's citizens on their worst days. Uh, General Ashner's talked about that uh, during the pandemic, the things that our soldiers and airmen were doing at the food banks that they were doing to help our fellow citizens. Uh, unfortunately, we don't get to see our fellow citizens on their best days very often. Usually, it's on their worst days. Uh, and ESGR represents our citizen soldiers sometimes on their worst days when an employer might be trying to tell a, a uh, reservist or National Guardsman, you have to leave your job or you can't take leave for this military duty. Uh, ESGR is very diligent at educating employers on the, uh, the duty they have to uniform soldiers under the Uniform Service Employment and Reemployment Rights Act, uh, USRA. So it's, important that ESGR continues to advocate on behalf of our reservists and guardsmen. And in both my roles, we got a supporter there. In both my roles today, I'm here to say thank you to all of you for what you do and thank you to ESGR for what they do for our soldiers and airmen that are guard and reservists that are 
helping out our citizens both abroad and at home. So today's a great day to celebrate what ESGR does, support what ESGR does, and in both my roles, I'm excited about that. I get a chance to introduce the Deputy Commander of the Ohio National Guard, our great Lieutenant Governor, who is a great supporter of our military and our service members, both active and reserve. Our Lieutenant Governor, John Husted, everybody. Well, good afternoon. Uh, it is great to see all of your faces out there. Uh, I will tell you that Governor DeWine and I have both signed a statement of support uh, for Ohio employees of the state of Ohio and to encourage all employers of the state to hire and support members of the National Guard and Reserve. It is, um, I think it's important for all of us to remember, because look, I've been to several of these kinds of events during the course of my career, and someone may ask, why do we keep doing them? It's because education and educating the public is never done in a democracy. Every generation, every year, we need to provide the constant reminder about, uh, to remind all about what this is all about. Um, remind them about why it works. Why does it work? Because People who are willing to serve their nation also need to be supported by their employers. And that their employers also benefit by hiring people of great integrity and character that can serve as a model within that workplace. We all benefit when we get this right. And as I have in two and a half years on the job, as Lieutenant Governor and as I, as it says in the Ohio Constitution, gives me the responsibility of being the Deputy Commander in Chief of the Guard and Reserve. I have witnessed the actions of the Guard and Reserve at, national, or at, at natural disasters. I think the first one that stands out vividly in my mind were the tornadoes in Dayton. Um, I've also seen the floods and the quick response there security deployments, both domestic and abroad, and certainly with COVID, relating to health services, support services, uh, during a time of great tumult. The one thing that you see in people's eyes when the Guard and Reserve show up is that they believe that their state and their nation are there for them. They feel like the world cares about their predicament. They know help is on the way. And to see the men and women in uniform not only has a real effect in their lives, it has a symbolic effect about how much their community cares about what happens to them. But it only works, it only works when we all support each other. The employers of this state need to support the men and women who serve. And today is drawing attention from some of the great people in our state and our community who understand that. And just wanted to say that Ohio itself employs 800 members of the Ohio National Guard and Reserve. And I don't know if General Ashenhurst said this, but she actually has some people who are leaving uh, to, for a deployment here soon who work in her department. It happens all the time, and we're really proud to support them. Um, our, our, this is a great tradition in our nation. It, it is a wonderful tradition in our nation. And the people here, you're here today because you know that, and you know how important it is. And. I will just say this in, in closing. Um, we have a responsibility to continue to help people understand this in our daily lives, in the world we touch, 
and when we do we provide that reassurance to the people who don't even know how important this is because there's going to be somebody out there today who may hear this message and may not understand why it's relevant to them in three four years down the road somebody from the Guard Reserve is going to make a difference in their lives in a time of crisis. And we do these things because all of us who are here know that and understand that. And it's our responsibility to communicate that to employers and people around the state. So the support, the protection, and the mission of the Guard and Reserve will be protected. And most of all, the people and the families who serve are supported and protected. And so in that cause, let's go march. my gratitude for the entire Ohio committee for your dedication to our service members and the employers. Without them, this event would not be possible. On behalf of the Ohio Committee for the Employer Supported Guard and Reserve, thank you for standing with ESGR.